Alright, next out is Carnage, Dark Recollections, and uh, this is uh, Death Metal from Sweden, and uh, this album is from 1990, and uh, original release. Yeah, this is a really important album, I think, uh, of Swedish Death Metal, so this is a really good one, and it also have a good history. So this is the first and only album they did. The later uh, Matty Kirky and Fred Espy and uh, yeah, they later uh, formed into Dismember. So and we got Michael Amott from Carcass and stuff. So yeah, this is probably the second best Swedish death metal album maybe I think and the best is uh, left hand path with entombed in my opinion and uh, yeah so this is the necrosis original release of carnage then we got carnivore and um, yeah so this album has been with me for a very long time so this one is from 85 and uh, yeah, so I heard this when I was really, really young, um, almost a kid, and I was super into this album. So I still love it for that. I think it's a really, really good album. Um, so they are from USA, and uh, it's some trash metal crossover thingy. A lot of punky feeling into this as well. Um, so yeah, it was Peter Steele. Uh, he would later form Type of Negative. So he did all the songs, write them, and um, yeah. So this is also a carnivore. Carnivore. So this is basically the same album, but it reissued uh, on a double LP. Yes, I really wanted that because I fucking love this album. So it is reissued and remastered. So better sound, better. Yeah, everything is better. I think on. And uh, it contains some demo songs, USA for USA and SMD and Sex and Violence are bonus tracks on this one. Uh, so this one was released 2007 uh, with the Cargo Records and Roadrunner. Uh, oh shit wrong side then we got carnivore retaliation and this one is their second and uh, last full-length album they did um, and it was originally released 87 but I got the reissued and remastered version of this one as well released in 2007 so it's same here contains a, a few demo songs or bonus tracks yeah so this is a gatefold album same as the other one so this dude is missing his arm and he has a bone for an arm <laughs> Yeah, and we also got some inner sleeve of them posing here with a huge fucking penis, but it's pretty cheap. <laughs> anyway, the, this album uh, is more punkiness than the other one, uh, but I really love that album uh, as well. <laughs> Next out is Cathedral, 
with the conspiracy control and it's a split with foobar draw the line yeah so catheter they are from united states and uh, play grindcore and foobar or fucked up beyond all recognition they are from holland or as you guys say it from netherlands yeah so catheter is a little bit more punk hardcore and the foobar is a little bit more noisy yeah so this was only released in 500 copies and 400 on uh, black vinyl and 100 on green which I have so that's pretty funny that only 100 people got this one Ugh. next is Celtic Frost with Morbid Tales and uh, Morbid Tales is a 12 inch e EP and uh, from 84 but I got the reissued version from 2005 so yeah I will explain later why that's the case so it's still some plastic on it uh, oh, sorry then we got Celtic Frost again with to Megatherion and I really love this album cover I remember I wanted it as a tattoo um, so this is the first full length album uh, from 87 but yeah I same here I have the reissued version from 99 so yeah they, they released a picture disc uh, version in 2005 and uh, then they probably uh, with morbid tales so airmark so they probably did uh, probably did uh, the picture disc on this and uh, morbid tales in 2005 and uh, yeah so this one is from 99 anyway enough of that super good album as well both of them are and next out is Celtic Frost with Cold Lake yeah so this one was released 88 and th this is the third full-length album and this is also the first one I got with Celtic Frost everybody said Celtic Frost you need to check them out they're so fucking cool yeah and you know back <coughs> back then in 88 we had no fucking internet so so yeah so I remember I ordered this uh, from a rec record company and what we got in this album is some fucking glam rock and it's so bad it's really really bad I don't know what it they went from being a super cool band to this yeah so this was the first I ever heard with Celtic Frost so when people said Celtic Frost are so fucking awesome you need to check it out and I was like yeah yeah whatever sure they fucking sucks uh, so I had a bad bad start with Celtic Frost so that's why I didn't get uh, the other vinyls uh, back then Next out is a strange one, uh, also not a super strange one, but this is Celtic Frost as well, with Parge, with Thirst, Am I, and Dying, and from 84 to 92, so it contains two brand new songs, four unreleased and four re-recorded, so this is, I ordered this at the same time, and it's not super good but it contains some cool stuff 
So Idols of Chagrin uh, was supposed to be a song on the never released album Under Ap Apollyon's Sun. So I guess they yeah. They split up before that album came out. Um, a Descent to Babylon was an unreleased track from the Vanity Nemesis album, which I do not own. But what I can hear here, it's probably something I don't want to own. Return to Eve is a studio jam session thingy from... Uh, yeah, so it's basically a song from the Tragic Serenades EP. And uh, yeah, so it's a studio jam of that one. Uses Like Wine is from Cold Lake. Uh, but it's re-recorded, so it's much better on this one and than on that fucking record. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, where the fuck are we? The Inventable Factor. And uh, yeah, that's a song that should probably had end up into the pandemonium. Pandemonium. So it's, but yeah, I think it, it, it never made it there, uh, but yeah, so it's the same style as that album. The Heart Beneath, uh, yeah, that was on the Vanity Nemesis album, Tristesse de la Lune um, is a song from the Into the Pandemonium. <laughs> Hard to uh, pronounce that stuff. Under the Polius Sun, yeah, <coughs> as I mentioned, so I never released and it never, yeah, that album never happened. The Usurper, so that's also a, a re recorded one from the Tradix Serenades EP. And uh, Journey into Fear. <coughs> it's actually a pretty good song. Uh, it should have maybe ended up on The Emperor's Return. Uh, so it's recorded at the same time, but yeah, it never went that far to be on that record <coughs> or EP. Uh, I mean, uh, but yeah, great song. So let's see, Downtown Hanoi is a re-recorded Cold Lake. Better hair than on that fucking record. And then we got, let's see, In the Chapel in the Moonlight. And uh, yeah, that's a cover of the Dean Martin song from 87. So it's an old song they covered uh, yeah whatever I want dance is yes just a shorter radio version uh, from the into the pandem pandemonium record yeah so that's it Celtic Frost was last out on this session so I will continue in the next video see you guys there <laughs>